They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters, MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clocks stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The Pyramid. Tom Thomas, can I open my eyes? Not yet. Hurry, will ya? That's it. I'm ready for the contest. Ta-da! Wait, that's a pastry. This is a pastry, Nolik. But this is an Egyptian pyramid. Oh, wow. Doesn't it look just like an anthill? Sure does. I remember when Grand Poos told us that inside of those is a labyrinth and a mummy of a sparrow. No, a pharaoh. The Egyptian pyramids are simply amazing ancient structures. The biggest one of them is the Great Pyramid of Cheops. It's more than 4,000 years old and over 100 meters tall, like a 40-story building. How it was possible to build such a giant way back then is still a mystery. There were no hoisting cranes in those days. Some people believe that the pyramids were built by aliens, but I have a feeling that they couldn't have been built without the Fixies' help. So, is there a labyrinth in there? Of course. Show me. You joking? I just put it together for the contest. No way I'm gonna break this apart. Hey, isn't that a way in? Where are you going? I'm just gonna look at the labyrinth. And the mummy! Mummy, what are you talking about? Well, which way now? Stop, you'll get lost. I won't get lost. So, I think I'll go this way. And then this way. Come back, Nolik. I was already here. And I was here. Oh. 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 I did get lost. You were right. What? Hey there. Do you know where Nolik is? In there. He went mummy hunting, and he got lost. Mummy? Whoa! A real one? Class! Don't! No, like, yoo-hoo! Are you in here? No! Then where? Who knows? Who builds labyrinths like this anyway? Hey, nobody asked you to go in my labyrinth. Who are you talking to in there? Digit, Fire and Nolik are inside, and I need to go to school now. Nolik! Fire! Well, I, for one, have never gotten lost in a labyrinth because I know the rule for getting out. You need to always keep your hand on the wall. I can find them for you. Where are you guys? Over here! <laughs> I forgot which of these walls I was touching with my hand. Did you find them? No! And I got myself completely lost in here! Tom Thomas, you've got school today, don't you? Yeah, I do. Only I got a pyramid full of fixies. <laughs> it's like an anthill. Mm-hmm. The first one wanted to go mummy hunting. The second one went looking for the first one. And the third for both. We're lost in here! And I've got school to get to. Wait, maybe you could just try to shake them out. Good idea! <laughs> <laughs> Joking! <laughs> you have string? Watch. This way you don't get lost. When you're going on a trip, think about how to keep from getting lost and how to find your way back. Don't just rely on maps and the GPS in your phone. Take a compass with you. It will show you the cardinal directions without needing phone service. You can also find north and south by looking at the sun, stars, or even an anthill in the woods. Take a good look. The slope that's gentler faces south, and the one that's steeper faces to the north. And if you find yourself walking through a labyrinth, don't get lost. Just walk with one hand always touching the wall, and eventually you'll get out. Another way to get through a labyrinth is to tie a rope at the entrance and unreel it along the way. Then, you can follow its path back out. Here's the first one. And the second. And Nolik? Oh! Mummy, is it alive? It's me, Nolik! Uh. <laughs> but I couldn't find yours. That's because there's none in there. What? You mean I got lost in there for nothing? You're in such 
such a hurry. You didn't listen to what I said. But without a mummy, how can you win? Oh, then maybe you could be my mummy. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, did you win a prize? Uh-huh. My pyramid won. And here's a special extra prize for being the only one of us who knew how to get out of the labyrinth. Again? Another box of those pastries? That's fine with me. I really love them. They're awesome. I wish Fixies ate food. What a shame. Then I'll give some to your mommy. <laughs> the Marshmallow. Why are you so sad? Christmas is just around the corner. Maybe it'll be a lot of fun for you, but not for us. Why is that? Mossy and Papus had a quarrel. Over what? Every year, we've got to repair those string lights. Oh, yeah, it's awful. Christmas is almost here, and there's still so much work to be done. What do you think of that? <laughs> and this! <laughs> here you are. You don't hear the phone ring, you don't answer messages, and we have string lights that aren't working right. We need help. Papus, can't you give us a few more minutes? You said that an hour ago. Haven't you wasted enough time? We are not wasting time! Look at the camera! What? Loop. <laughs> Got one of Masia? Look! <laughs> there you are. So, having a good time? Um, we were just about to leave and... You can stay right here. I've already done everything myself. You obviously have more important things to take care of. Uh, uh. So you left me over there, by myself, working my tail off, just so you can play? Where are you going? To relax. Oh, yeah? Fine with me. So now don't panic, Nolik. We'll get your parents to forget. I, I mean, to forgive each other. How? My dad always says that the way to a woman's heart is to give flowers and candy. And where are we going to find flowers right now? Oh, we'll make them out of marshmallows. People are always trying to improve recipes. The French used an ancient Egyptian mallow root recipe to create the marshmallow, a fluffy mm. dessert that can decorate a cake or be roasted on an open fire. In Russia, pureed fruit and berries were mixed with egg whites and sugar and then whipped together to create their own fluffy dessert, zephyr. Some ingredients have changed over the years, but mm. these old desserts are still popular. What will they think of next? <laughs> We're gonna set him up on a date. <laughs> Masia's calling for you. It's urgent. Tom Thomas's uh, monitor isn't working. I thought she handles everything herself now. Papu, you're always so kind and love helping others. Come on. <sighs> All right. No, no, and no. I'm relaxing, I told you. But Tom Thomas won't have time to make his mom's car if you don't go. And then she'll end up without a present. Fine, I'll go. But I'm only going for his mom's sake. Sweets aren't just for eating. They can also be used to decorate a Christmas table. For instance, it's very easy to make this Christmas tree out of marshmallows. Make a row of marshmallows at the bottom of a plate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The second row has six of them. The third row, five. Then there's four, three, two, and a special one on top. Add breadsticks at the bottom as a trunk and sprinkle the plate with some sweet confetti. There, it's ready. With the help of some little cookie cutters, it's possible to make hearts and snowflakes out of marshmallows. Or you could make a reindeer. Put a candy cane through a marshmallow, use sugar beads for eyes and a nose, and pretzels for antlers. Beautiful, right? Merry Christmas! Hmm. I don't get what's going on. The monitor's working. What did you call me for? Uh, I didn't call. Hmm. 
And you've got nothing for me to do here. No. Ah, oh, then I guess you came to apologize? Uh, no. You know what? I have had enough. Uh, well... Huh? What's it say? For Masya? Uh... For me? Yeah, for you. <laughs> That's so sweet. I hope you can forgive me for yelling at you. I'm just tired. No, I should apologize. It was bad of me to leave you alone. And where are the children? It's almost Christmas. There you are. Come here. Papa, <laughs> Masya! <laughs> oh, my sweetie. <laughs> yeah. Hooray! Hooray! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! The star. And so, this is our solar system. And it consists of... Friends, you're not going to believe it. I found... I discovered an unknown star. That is superb, Kali. Yeah. And today, journalists will visit the laboratory for an interview. Who's going to be interviewed? If you weren't late, you'd know that. I had to do my hair. They're here. Everyone hide. of galaxies in the universe with billions of hot glowing spheres that everybody knows as stars. Stars are each born out of huge clouds of gas and dust that are called nebulas. We see stars in the sky as tiny dots, but that's only because they are very, very far away. The closest star to our planet is the sun. Even though the sun isn't the hugest star, it still gives us the heat and light we need to live. Professor Eugenius is a celebrity now, on a global scale. Yeah. Hey, did you see? Verda also got on the cover. No joke. Where? <gasps> and I think we look pretty good together. So, who wants my autograph? <laughs> we'll have to wait till after school. Uh -uh. It's time to go. Hey, aren't you going? Not right now. My colleague and I have more important business. What colleague? The professor. Both of us have become celebrities. Verda, you got on that cover totally by accident. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody's jealous. <laughs> well, we've got our new star. <laughs> now, what should I name it? A colleague? Uh -huh. Why don't you name the new star Verda? After all, it does sound pretty. Verda, Verda. Hmm. Like a vertex whirling around. <laughs> That's a great idea. It's a shame you didn't get my autograph, because that new star now has my name, Verda. <laughs> and now an elaborate celebration needs to be thrown in my honor. I mean, mine and the professor's, of course. What celebration are you talking about? With a red carpet and flowers? Why are you just standing there? Make it happen! The poor girl thinks she's a star. Absolutely. So what can we do about it? With lunatics, it's better not to argue. That's what I read. Then let's play your silly game. <laughs> your Majesty, your red carpet awaits. Then unroll it. And the flowers? Am I supposed to do everything myself? Of course not. Here, Your Highness, your crown. All right, now we're talking. I am a star. She's totally lost it. Mm hmm He's coming. Finally, finally, my dream is reality. Hi. Ah, oh, my little fixie friends, it's you here. I'm so honored you gathered here to congratulate me today. <laughs> us? Yes, us, them, we. We all should celebrate. No, I mean you and I. <laughs> now show us what you're carrying. Uh, of course, the certificate. It says, this star discovered by Professor Eugenius has been registered with the name VE03732. What? Oh. <laughs> That's what we should start calling our big star from now on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's so funny? 
site is perfect for searching in the sky for constellations. The easiest one to find is the Great Bear or the Big Dipper, which looks like a soup ladle. If you draw a line through the two outside stars of the Big Dipper, you'll find the bright North Star, which is part of a constellation called the Little Bear or the Little Dipper. A bit further is the W-shaped Cassiopeia. And these three stars that are next to each other are well known as the Belt of Orion. If you draw a line through them, you'll find a star named Sirius. It's part of the Greater Dog constellation, and it's the brightest star in the night sky. And on the other side of it, there is the star Aldebaran of the constellation Taurus. And these are but a few of the most visible stars. It's not even possible to imagine how many stars there really are in the universe. Tula? I'm here. Fire. Here. VE73032? Is that someone new? Yeah, we've got a new student. She's a star. A new giant star. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. But if you need a fix, please don't let their secret out. But if you 